Hi everyone, my name is Rob, I am smartphone filmmaker, and this week I made a short film called Survive at All Costs, all on my own. So from the things that I've learned from that, I'm going to teach you five free things that are going to help you make your smartphone short film all on your own. Let's do it. So as I mentioned, Survive at All Cost is my second short film, and that's what I'll be relating to with these tips. So if you want to watch that first, so you don't get any spoilers, the link for that is in the description below, so do watch that. Give it a like and a subscribe if you enjoy it. And right now we're going to go into the tips. So tip number one, how do you focus on yourself in front of the camera when you're also filming behind the camera? So what I did is I made sure that if there was something next to me, like a door frame, there's a scene in Survive at All Costs, where I come through this door frame. So you've got the, the frame here. So what I would do is I'll be behind the camera and then focus on the door frame, not with the actual focus reticle on, on Filmic Pro, but with the actual focus dial on the right hand side going up and down until I got the focus right of all the detail that's in the door frame. Once I can see the crystal clear detail in the door frame, I know if I'm gonna be in line with that, then I'll be in focus as well. So you wanna find things in your environment that your character is in. And when they're in the blocking position of where you'll be filming them, just find something that's next to where they'll be and focus on that. So make sure that's nice and clear. Then you, the actor or actress, will be clear when you step into shot as well. Now, making this film, it was during a very sunny period of the week, which meant there's a lot of noise coming from outside. So we had people with building works going on, extensions being built out one side of our flat for other flats and downstairs areas. We had building works, people's drives going on, on the opposite side of our flat. We had people shouting and talking in the courtyard at the bottom of our flat. Any noise you can imagine, I had filming this, and I was, I was on my own as well. It was really, really difficult to make sure that I was keeping track of every single detail that I needed to keep on top of. So tip number two is to make sure that you play back the sound after you've filmed your shot, after you've done a take. So once you've finished the take, get your headphones or whatever you need to listen to it back through, and just make sure there and then, this, this is the headphone by the way, not, nothing's not magic, and you just listen for any sound. So if you've got people shouting in the background, I had a few shots where, a lot of shots, where there was some woman downstairs who was chatting away really, really loud. So I had to do another take again and again and again. And eventually I just thought, I'm gonna have to just do the sounds as uh, ADR uh, in the evening when it's quieter. So make sure you listen to the sounds as soon as you film the shots, or at least after you've done, I don't know, three, four takes, just listen to them back, see if there's any background sounds. Because if you're picking them up from your ear, the microphone's almost certainly going to pick up as well. And you don't want to get that when you're editing to find out you've got the sound the sound of a, you know, a forklift just going beep, beep, beep in the background of your really, like, dramatic, serious short film. So, yeah, keep on top of sound and make sure you play it back once you've done the takes so you don't waste time in the long run. I'm starting to realise that I've got real strong lockdown hair going on at the moment. So tip number three is don't let filming on your own hamper and limit your creativity. Let that fuel your creativity. So if you're filming on your own, that doesn't mean you can't still use really cool, creative, unique shots. So there's a part of surviving at all costs where I'm looking through the kitchen for things, uh, food, any kind of weapons, whatever I can find that's gonna be helpful for me and my family. I'm looking through the kitchen for things. So what I did is I got my phone on a skinny tripod, like a really small one, just turn the tripod on its side so the phone was like that and then put it inside a drawer that's like that kind of thin. So you'll see in the short film there's a shot where the phone kind of reveals me as it's pulled out of the darkness into the kitchen from the drawer. And that's just an example of ways that you can make creative shots to keep the audience interested and keep the audience focused on everything you're doing and make that seem more exciting than it is. I'm just opening a covered door but with an interesting shot you can make something feel a lot more in depth and really bring the audience into what you're doing. Tip number four, keep your story the main priority. So in terms of filming on your own and keeping creative, one of the things that I was inspired by for the short film was The Walking Dead. So watching The Walking Dead, I don't know if anyone has, I'm sure lots of people have, the window shots are always really blown out and overexposed. So I wanted to set the scene so that it felt very desolate. It felt like people have lived here recently but obviously they're not there now. So I had the wind sound effect, which I got from freesound.org, which I'll put in a link below as well, so you can use the sounds there. They haven't got a huge variety of sounds. You might not always find what you want, 
but the chances are you'll find something you can work with in the meantime and also there are some really good sounds that I've managed to use for this as well so yeah Walking Dead was a really big inspiration for this and the way they set their scenes as well wherever they are wherever they go you just have this sense that something can happen something can kick off at any moment and even if they're in like a desolate quiet petrol station you just feel like something could start walking out from the side of a car they could get a gunshot coming across so I really wanted to work with that quietness that eeriness so if you're filming on your own keep your creativity alive don't let that kind of hamper you because you can really tell an amazing story with just one person if you've got the right goods to start telling a story in an interesting way so before I give you tip number five I just want to talk to you as I did in my last film about what I'm using for the film so all I've used in this film is my iPhone 6s which I'm using now to film this Filmic Pro which I'm using now the video mic me which is here and finally I managed to get myself a small LED light for my birthday which is really cool, a VGIM LED light which you see here. I'll put a link for anything that I've used in the descriptions below so you can use them as well. So that's the equipment that I used to make this film and now moving on to tip number five. So tip number five is just because you're filming it on your own doesn't mean that there can't be other characters within the story. Now with this film there's a shot that I was really happy with from Walking Dead I noticed sometimes they have shots of walkers whether it's or zombies as you want to call them um, walkers that are in the foreground and they blur them out but because you're hearing things you're hearing the sounds of them or you're hearing the sounds of them eating things it still feels really gross and kind of disgusting and eerie so there's a shot that I'm really pleased with it's so easy to do it's with the green curtains you'll see in the film uh, Survive at All Costs uh, which is in the link below that's uh, there's a walker a zombie that's uh, by the green curtains and it looks like he could be eating something or he's just kind of like just turning into one of the walkers and all I did for that was just completely blow out the focus so none of it's in focus but hearing the sound seeing the shape of someone gives you that eerie kind of feeling and because I had the coat over me it doesn't matter that it's me doing it because it still looks like it could be someone else so there's plenty of ways where you could do maybe the shoulder of someone if you've just seen someone you can film your shoulder around the corner so it looks like someone's there moving around maybe talking if your character doesn't talk so that you know the voices don't sound the same but there's always going to be a way that you can still have other characters in the story and you can cheat other characters into the story physically without actually having to show a face so don't think that just because you're on your own filming it that it has to be a hundred percent a solo story also something else that I did which you'll see at the end of the film is when I come out of the door I look to that side I look to that side to show you that there's more than one person that I've seen that way you bring in two people in so without seeing anyone you've seen that he's reacted to two people right at the end who are the gang members who uh, ultimately spoiler alert shoot him dead so there are ways to cheat in other characters and don't let you be on your own stop you from doing that so whilst that was the top five tips on how to make a smartphone short film on your own I do have one bonus tip as well for you and that is to organize every role that you'll be taking on in making this film on your own so write down or remember the things you're doing so for example for survive at all costs I was the camera operator the sound the light uh, the runner the actor the extra costume editing grading write down everything or remember everything that you'll be doing so that you have a checklist almost that you won't forget because it's the last thing you want to do is get to editing and realize that you've forgotten one aspect in one particular take that you can't reshoot so thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful my name's Rob and if you like the video please do subscribe and hit that like button hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to that way you can keep up to date with everything I'm doing and let's have fun in the future with these videos thank you so much for watching really appreciate it take care bye bye